Easy to Love is right. Those were the dulcet tones of Cecile McLaurin Salvant, who will be gracing the stage of the McCarter Theatre on December 10th and 11th. Live performance is back with a vengeance and McCarter is happy to set the stage. I'm Gina Marie Rodriguez with Jersey Arts, bringing you a jazz-filled burst of serotonin. A three-time Grammy winner, Cecile McLaurin Salvant won the coveted Thelonious Monk International Jazz Competition in 2010 and has since received the 2020 MacArthur Fellowship and the 2020 Doris Duke Award. Barely into her 30s, she has made quite the mark on the jazz world, but it should also be noted that she is a talented visual artist as well. Her work will be featured in the upcoming animated and fully orchestrated feature film, The Ogress, premiering in February of 2022 at the McGuire Theatre in Minneapolis, Minnesota. While Cecile was traveling during production of this interview, I was able to chat with the inimitable Bill Lockwood Jr. about what led him to Cecile. Lockwood has been the director of special programming at McCarter Theatre for over half a century. So if you've caught his eye, you know you're doing something right. So I asked Bill what he thought audiences could expect from Cecile's upcoming performance. Well, she's, what can I say? Uh, other than the fact that she's, if you really are, if you think you're a fan of jazz, uh, she's the best singer to come in the last 10 years. And uh, if you listen to her, you're going to hear her channeling a lot of the great legends of the female, particularly the black female jazz singers, uh, which are essentially a lodestone of the evolution of jazz in this, in this country. And she may sing some of her own songs. She'll also touch, I'm sure, on classics from her forebears and also the Great American Songbook. I looked at Kate, she was in a trance And then I knew it was in her dance All the boys are going wild Over Katie's dancing style She incorporates virtually the whole uh, history of jazz vocalists, particularly, uh, you know, women of color. You know, starting with Billie Holiday and coming right up through, um, you know, Shirley Horn and and Dee Dee Bridgewater, and so she incorporates them all and sort of into her own uh, melange. You've seen that Cecile's visual artistry only speaks to the breadth of her talent. Her artwork is often closely tied to her music, as it will be in the upcoming animated feature, The Ogress. Now, I asked Bill what he finds so special about Cecile and why she makes the perfect fit for McCarter's program. So we try and represent both the classic figures of the jazz world, which is why Dave Brubeck was here for so many years, and while Miles Davis and Duke Ellington uh, have all been here uh, during my tenure, and why Wynton Marsalis is almost an annual event here with his Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. But also it's important to represent uh, the emerging artists, the new generation, and there's several generations, as there are for audiences today as well, whether you want to call them uh, X or Y, whatever letter you want to apply to generations, and that's shifting all the time. And one of the opportunities I've had is with our Jazz in June Festival to bring artists here who are not necessarily the major names that sell out the big venues, but essentially the jazz world lives in jazz clubs. And so our Berlin Theater, which is 350 seats, uh, represents sort of our jazz club, like Jazz Standard and the Village Vanguard, places like that in New York. And you hopefully will find something that strikes a responsive chord. And you'll say, well, I'm intrigued by that. I want to hear more. And more to the point, and this is really the most important point, I should make, and it's very relevant right now, is you need to hear them in person, which is why we're so thrilled to be back live at McCarter. There's no substitute for the real live performance. 
I'd like to thank Bill Lockwood Jr. for chatting with me about McCarter Theater, sharing his knowledge of jazz, and letting us know what to expect from the incredibly talented Cecile McLaurin Salvant. So make sure to mark your calendars for December 10th and 11th and check out the show at the Berlin Theater. For more information on the concert, McCarter Theater, and all things arts in New Jersey, head over to jerseyarts.com. I'm Gina Marie Rodriguez. Thanks for watching. I wish that I could shimmy like my sister Kate. She shivers like the jelly on a plate. My mama wanted to know last night what makes the boys think that Kate's so nice. Everybody in the neighborhood knows that she can shimmy and it's understood. I know that I'm late, but I'll be up to date when I can shimmy like my sister. I mean, shimmy like my sister Kate.